and uh, level successfully loaded and we are still debugging so everything's working good and this is our custom project it's compiling shaders it's going to take a while and if we hit play you can see that all our stuff is still working which is awesome and this is all compiled and we're running from source control there's a bug there mine only goes to a thousand percent and then it'll actually cause stuff to lag if I'm not uh, paying attention but but yeah it's working good I'm gonna hit quit or you know yeah let's hit quit and everything's compiled so now that we know that everything's working right and we compiled from source it's time to start baking the dedicated server and I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready all right since we've got a a good compiled version of our project using the source from github we're now ready to kind of take a step back and prepare our project to bake the dedicated server out um, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to launch this here and we have to build a uh, a good clean client.exe so uh, to do that it's real easy it's over here we want to go down to where is it package project windows and windows 64 bit and then you're going to pick your directory where you want it to go and I've always put mine in my project and I make a new folder and I name it publish and I tell it to put everything in the publish folder so I click OK and now you'll see down here it's packing the project which like I say will give us a good working .exe and we want to do this and then we don't want to change nothing and then we're gonna bake out the dedicated server we don't want to add any changes once now that we're doing this we don't uh, want to make any save changes or nothing like that otherwise there's going to be a version change and it's not going to be uh, the you know the clients not going to be the same version as the server so very important okay I'm gonna pause this and then we'll be back all right that's complete and you can see here that it packed built successful so that's that's sweet um and now if you go to that directory where we just put it you will have your dot exe right here that we can actually launch and it'll just be a version of the game that we're making okay so very important need that and remember this directory because we'll be coming right back here pretty soon because this is the folder that the dedicated server is going to go in so but before we do that we have to do some things in visual studio and i'll get that right up here in a second so next thing we want to do is we want to launch Visual Studio and I'm just going to launch it straight from uh, the file menu so we'll go ahead and launch Visual Studio and it's going to go through some stuff here but uh, the big thing here is we want to now this is uh, very important you see this file here <clears throat> server dot you're not going to have that and I already put one in here because I did some testing but this hat you have to put this file in here 
and I'm going to show you how to make that file. We're just going to uh, we'll just delete it. So to make that file, first thing you're going to want to do is you will come up to this target.cs and you will want to go over to here and you'll want to save as and you are going to want to come right in here to the end and you're going to want to type server and then click save okay that's because mine was already in there but whatever I'll replace it so and then you gotta come up here and highlight make sure you're on the correct file up here and you're going to want to delete all this out delete everything okay and then you're going to want to come to this web page I'll try to remember to put the link in the uh, YouTube comments and then scroll down and then right here you want to copy all this out of here you need this copy and then you want to paste it in here and then you have to edit in here this line right here you have to erase the game part and you want to put in what your project name is ours is right here YouTube toot so YouTube yeah I got that right YouTube toot and I'm going to go ahead and just copy that and right here see where it says game server again we need to delete just the game part and paste this in and we got one spot right here we have to delete the game out and paste that in there too okay so now we want to go file oops that wasn't right we want to go file save all and now we want to shut her off shut off our visual studio and now we want to come back to our directory we want to rebuild our project so we want to go to our U project right click and go to generate Visual Studio project files and let that generate and now we want to launch Visual Studio again and let it reload and now if we come down to our source folder we have the YouTube tut server dot target CSS and that's very important if you don't have that in there you will not get your server stuff okay so that's taken care of we got our client made everything's ready I believe all we have to do now is make sure that you're in the development server mode up here and win 64 or whatever you're doing and then it's as simple as highlighting your project again right clicking and going to build and it's going to build out the dot exe and it's going to be a while so we'll be back all right and build succeeded so now we're going to go hunt down that file which means we got to go back into that directory again i should just leave it up but i figure i'll do this so you guys can see binaries 164 and right down here you will see we got the four server files 
So right click, copy them all. We need to, we can't launch from here yet. It won't launch. We have to go back into our published folder that we made, the Windows No Editor, which you can change that to your name. And then we want to go into here and then binaries 64 and make sure that that dot exe is in there too if it's not go back out here and get it from here copy and make sure that's in there if it's not it won't work right and then paste in our other files that we were just doing and i'm getting a warning over here about oh my vlc media player okay cancel I don't care about that all right and so so now we could we can almost launch from here except I always uh, create a desktop shortcut well I'll just create a shortcut real quickly here because we want to go in we have to add just for a test we need to add on the end of here space minus sign log and apply and if you don't have the space in between here you'll get an error when you go to apply so if you get something make sure you got the right spacing apply okay and now if we launch it stupid I don't know what that's about I'll have to take time and figure that out but there went our server which is right there and it's there's our dedicated server it's running and it's bloated stuff and RAM and everything so it's up I don't think that it's got a map running on it yet it might but what I just killed it but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna transfer all this stuff over to my dedicated server box in my garage and then I will try to connect to it and we'll do that here in the upcoming videos all right all right so we're ready to move the files over to the dedicated server and i'm going to back out of here just to show you here is our unreal projects folder here's our project we've been working on <clears throat> there's youtube and now we want to go back into our, our publish and we just want to right click and copy all that and then i am connected remote desktop to my um, to my server box in the garage and I already all you have to do with remote desktop is right click here again and click paste and I'd already did it because it took a while so I'm just gonna cancel out of this but here is our Windows no editor on our server box so we're gonna open that up and we're gonna go straight into the server files and first thing we just need to nuke this one because that's going to be totally wrong and we want to go back up to the server.exe and we want to make another shortcut I just do this because it's easier to edit you could do it in console command too and uh, yeah but I think this may be a little bit easier so right click on it go to properties shortcut and we have to edit the end of this and I have I have what we need right here we need to come up here and at the end of this we need to put a slash oops slash and then we want game slash publish no my bad my bad not publish game slash maps slash slash keep doing question mark now the name of the map very important so I'm gonna go back just to make sure go into our game I'm in the maps folder and we uh, we want I'm just gonna do first map for now just to see if this works so uh, first map so we want to go back and we want to put map first map 
or whatever the name of your map might be. Slash, or no, no slash, then it's space minus sign log. And click apply. Okay, I got it. And like I say, if you got spaces wrong or anything, it's going to give you, it says, it'll say it can't do it. So, okay. Now, if we launch this. Okay, well, this, I got this error because, as you notice, I've got a clean install of Windows 10 on here. And I believe that it's missing, there's some DLL files that are missing. So I'm going to go and just install the game engine. Yep, we got a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go install the game engine. I'm going to go to Unreal on here and download, uh, you know, get a working copy of the engine. And by doing that, even though we really don't want to be world building on here, or building with the editor it'll it'll put the right files in our computer and it should all work then so I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna install and I'll be back and it won't shut off if you're on a remote desktop